Ahlam has a heart condition, but she's now able to walk around easily thanks to a clinical trial. A new valve allows her heart to pump blood properly. I was not able to sleep at night. I was frail and couldn't even climb the stairs. Now after the operation, I can sleep comfortably. I can now carry things and walk normally. The heart valve trial is at Sidra, a first of its kind medical and research center for women and children in Qatar. What sets Sidra apart is not just clinical trials, but also the use of smart technology. This is the 3D printout of a human heart, where doctors have been able to plant valves in not just one, but seven patients. And this particular trial is being carried out in five countries. Doctors here want to expand research into new techniques of therapy. Besides the new valve, Dr. Ziad Hijazi wants to test absorbable implants called stents, hopefully to reduce the number of operations for children with heart disease. It's made from polymers and synthetic materials that you can put initially in the blood vessel. It does the job by opening the blood vessel, but within about a year and a half, it dissolves, it disappears, and the area where the, the stent was, it remodels. The Sidra Specialized Hospital is also innovating prevention of diabetes, which affects 17% of Qataris. There's been no real studies looking at uh, the epidemiology of childhood diabetes in Qatar. Once we analyse the data and once we know the exact causes of diabetes, we'll be able to sort of tailor make personalised therapy for each child. For example, is that in some children we might be able to stop the injections of insulin they have and actually give them oral medications. Genetic disorders and birth defects are relatively high because about half of all marriages across Gulf nations are between cousins. Qatar's small population is giving researchers a unique chance to map the genetics of the whole population. If ambitions are realized, it'll create a genetic reference not only useful for Qatar's population, but for all similar ethnic populations worldwide. Right now, all the resources that exist around the world come from you know, highly studied populations, mostly Europeans, Caucasians, some Africans and some East Asians. There's very little representation from our part of the world, Middle Eastern populations. And so what we've started to do here over the last decade is to basically work towards building the representation. Because people here often travel abroad for diagnostics and therapy, doctors report a patient drain from the Middle East. They're hoping to reverse that trend with their scientific research. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera. Doha.